Hello, Prim friends. My name is Reynaldo Hill Sambrano, and I have been print making for eight years. In the summer of 2021, we decided to travel and document the growth of contemporary print with the shared stories of artists and curators living in the U.S., giving you a look inside their studios. Prepare to join us for a journey through the inspirations that made us fall in love with the art of print making. This is this big wall text devoted to wasting time. Partly comes from a song, uh, but also partly comes from something I was told in high school when I said I wanted to go to art school. And one of the high school counselors said something to the effect of like, why do you want to waste your time doing that? <laughs> and so here I am all these years later, still devoted to wasting my time. I'm Kevin Haas. I'm an artist and printmaker and professor at Washington State University. Printmaking to me, uh, kind of everything. Uh, <laughs> I'm interested in those kind of, um, I guess, more uh, kind of abstract ideas of print and more sort of poetic ideas of print, uh, but also uh, using it very much as a tool um, to accomplish the different things that I want to do as an artist. Drawing is the foundation of printmaking, uh, but it is a lot of other things too. Um, it is very much a photo and digital uh, realm uh, and also a realm of distribution, of being able to get different uh, types of printed uh, material and ephemera out into the world. Uh, so it isn't tied just to drawing, it's also tied to the dissemination of ideas in a lot of different ways. Um, and I think that's one of the exciting things about print is that it is that broad um, and that each of us often find kind of our own little niche within the spectrum of what we can do with print. As a child growing up, um, I was exposed to art pretty regularly. Grew up in St. Louis where there was a lot of uh, industrial disinvestment, uh, like lots of abandoned factories and warehouses. Um, I was just fascinated by that early on. And so it quickly became my subject matter uh, that I was working with. I did make kind of a, a really conscious choice to redirect uh, the focus of my work uh, away from the built environment to uh, working with uh, text and drawing in new ways. Um, so it's kind of a balance between sort of personal thoughts and things that are statements that are kind of very open-ended or kind of present a question or a conundrum of some sort with the way I kind of obscure text or text becomes kind of embedded into an image. Um, so it kind of asks people to, to get up a little bit closer to see, uh, see what's going on. Hopefully people uh, come up with some sort of story in their own minds. And that's partly what I'm interested in that uh, no matter what I do or say, about the work, people are going to have their own sort of associations and stories that they have in their minds about what what the pieces are, or what they might be about. Teaching printmaking, um, it's not so much about uh, that the students are all going to turn into printmakers and make prints the rest of their life. It's about getting a good understanding of one of the primary forms of communication that humans have used uh, for hundreds of years. Um, but also to get a uh, grounding in having kind of an agency over their environment and their world. Um, they can actually take some materials, transform them into something uh, different and get prints off of those, get multiples out of those. And that they're always negotiating with this kind of physical material and this physical world. And so being able to kind of express yourself through what you're able to make uh, is kind of an empowering thing. Mm -hmm.